Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and I have found this really cute panel from Elizabeth Studios with all the alphabet animals on them, and I think it would be a very fun project to do. But I am not going to make a quilt with it. I'm going to make teaching pillows. And to make it just a little bit more fun, I bought two panels so that I can have the letters of the alphabet on each side of the pillow. And I'm not going to put A behind A. I'm going to switch it up so I'm going to have an A and a Z so that if they want, they can always use the first letter in the animal's name to spell words. Now I have a list here that will help you match up what letters to go with what letters because after all there are more popular letters and some then there are some not so popular letters when you are teaching spelling. So we might want to use two E's so we don't want to have the two E's together. It'll be in the description if you want to use the list also. Now you can make these pillows only single sided if you want. I just kind of thought it would be fun to make them double sided. Now because there is an inch space between the panel, I'm going to cut it right in half. So each of these little squares has a half inch seam allowance. So I'm going to cut out both panels and I'm going to match the alphabets together. So now we have all of these little squares cut out. There's two ways we can sew them together. The traditional way is we would put them right sides together, sew along the three edges, leaving one open so that we can turn it right side out, stuff it, and then close it. However, we are making a lot of little pillows, so let's speed up the process a little bit by doing them all on the right side. So you're going to put the wrong sides touching. And you will be able to either use your serger or a zigzag stitch and sew along the three sides. So you have all three sides sewn. From there you're able to stuff it. It's nice to get a fill for the pillows that are going to be child friendly. This one is washable, which is a bonus to me because I know these are going to be washed a lot. This also will not bunch, and it's really going to keep that pillow having that nice look. So put your stuffing in, and they don't have to be overfilled. After all, they are just little toys. And when you have the amount that you want in it, take this stuffing and push it all the way in. Then, while you're matching the edges, pin the batting out of the way. And by pinning the batting up into the bag, you're able to just take this to your machine and finish that last row of stitching. Having the batting pinned up into the pillow, you have a good amount of space here, so you're not going to run over it with your needle at all, and it's not going to be in your way. When the last row of stitching is done, you can take out the pins and you can push the batting back down to where you need it. So you have a cute little two-sided pillow done. And it looks nice, it's quick, and it's easy. Now I need to get the entire alphabet of little pillows done. Okay, so all of the little pillows are done. All of the edges have been surged and finished. So they're all ready to go and they can go in the wash if need be. Now I know this is a lot of pillows, but just imagine how much fun this is going to be, especially if you match it up with the matching soft book. So a basket full of all of these cute little teaching pillows plus the matching book would make a nice addition to any reading nook. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.